June 30th is the International Asteroid Day as declared by United Nations in 2014. Its purpose was to bring attention to the world of the dangers that are posed to humanity by asteroids. Now, it's observed on the 30th of June because that's the anniversary of the day when the largest asteroid hit planet Earth in recent history. And that was in 1908 in Siberia where it flattened a forest and it's known as the Tunguska event and almost 80 million trees were just flattened out. So, what are asteroids and where are they? Well, they are pretty much rocky bodies that come in all shapes and sizes and they occupy a belt between the planet Mars and Jupiter. So you find that the, what's known as the asteroid belt lurks between those two areas and they range in sizes from about just 10 meters to hundreds of kilometers in size. And there are millions of asteroids out there and we've barely discovered about just 1% of them. Now, the dinosaurs did not live to tell the tale, but it's a pretty good bet that what killed them off was a massive asteroid impact with planet Earth that uh, they could not survive 65 million years ago. So what are the chances that we can be struck by an asteroid? It's a real danger. And after all, as recent as in 2013 in Russia, we were caught off guard when a 20 meter near Earth asteroid entered our atmosphere and exploded. So scientists know that this is a real possibility and there are programs that monitor the sky to find near Earth asteroids that are at least one kilometer in size. Of these, approximately 20,000 have been catalogued and of those, 2,000 are classified as potentially hazardous asteroids. So what can we do if one ventures too close to us for comfort? We rather deflect them than destroy them because if you destroy them, the debris can still fall on it and cause significant damage. And can we actually get to them? Well, after all, we've already visited several asteroids and even brought back a sample in 2010. So here's a little fun fact of the many people who founded Asteroid Day on June 30th. Um, one of the members, if you are into music, you would love this. And uh, as I do, love the rock band Queen. It is none other than Dr. Brian May, astrophysicist and the lead guitarist of Queen. How is that for rock music?